Good afternoon, everyone here in Zoom meeting and those who join via live streaming on YouTube. I want to welcome to you all to Taibev Group Career Journey in ASEAN 2021. This event is an opportunity for ASEAN students to explore about internship and career opportunities at Taibev Group. I am Sandy, your MC for today. Today, we start with a warm welcome from Dr. Ekapon Nasongkla, a Chief People Officer of Thai Beverage Public Company Limited. Dr. Ekapon will share to us an overview of Thai Bev Group Business in ASEAN LSS, talking about internship opportunities, then followed by Q&A. We will then move to a speed presentation from two groups of speakers, then Q&A. Our speakers are young professionals who currently work in Thai Bev Group. They join us here this afternoon to share about their scope of work in short, how did they get opportunities to work in ASEAN? What elements of passion that help them stand up from the crowd? How to grow in ASEAN and how Thai Bev support them to grow? Before getting started, I know that some of you might have heard about Thai Bev ASEAN internship program already. You can apply here until the end of February. You can also add our official line at Thai Bev Career ASEAN to be the first one to hear about our career opportunities. For all of you who join us in this event, either on Zoom or YouTube, you can win our lucky door prizes by capturing the Zoom or YouTube screen. Type your full name and send both to the chat by January 19th. The announcement will be on January 20th. If you are the lucky one, we'll send the prize to your doorstep. A little bit about our house rule for those who join via Zoom. Please use your real name and join with video and stay muted throughout the event. If you have any questions, please type your questions in the chat box in Zoom and leave your questions on the comment box in YouTube. We will select the questions and answering during the Q&A of each session. If you have specific questions to any of our speakers, please also mention their name. In order not to waste any time, please allow me to invite Dr. Egapon to give us our welcoming remarks and share to us an overview of Thai Bev group business and opportunities across ASEAN. Thank you, Kap Kun Sandy, and welcome everyone to Taibev Group Career Journey in ASEAN. So, first of all, let me say very happy new year to you all. Um, hope that this will be a great 2021 for us all. And on behalf of the senior management of Taibev Group, um, I'm very excited to be here to join with you. Even though the COVID situation prevents us to have uh, a physical uh, event but through technologies and through efforts, uh, we really believe that the virtual session today will give you many insightful stories about um, Thai Bev Group. And I hope that if you have any question, we'll also have time to take questions from you all and clarify things that you may wish to ask us. And today we are really um, ready to uh, address many things that you'd like to ask about opportunities at the Thai Bev Group. Let me first take you through a little bit of history of Thai Bev. Thai Bev is, of course, one of the largest uh, company in ASEAN. But before it comes to today, I think it's been grown through a lot of effort and um, focus on customers, focus on products. And back in the year 2014, it was on the, toward the end of 2014 that we came up with the notion that uh, who we like to become, and that came out to be the conception of Vision 2020, where we say that we will be the stable and sustainable ASEAN leader in the total beverage and food business. So on that day, I think it um, reignited and accelerated the connection between ASEAN and Taipei. So please allow me to take um, a few minutes to take you through the uh, journey of Taipei. If you have any question, feel free to type in the chat room or ask question directly, and we'll find time to uh, answer to the questions that you may have. So in our journey uh, that we aspire to be the stable and sustainable ASEAN leader, we have focused in five strategic imperatives. And of, of course, that you know, uh, when we focus on five strategies, that's something that we focus and we really try to do a very good job in. The first one is growth. So Taibev aspire to be one of the companies 
that will be uh, growing uh, ahead of the market and ahead of our competitor, and by doing so, create a lot of value for our customer as well as stakeholders. Second one is diversity. So we aim to be a company with diverse portfolio so that through the time into the future, we will be able uh, to continue to prosper and leverage on the strength of the diverse portfolio to become one of the best company in serving our customers. And thirdly, it's brands. We believe that brand is such an important asset that can travel um, through one physical confinement to the rest of the world. So by continuing to invest in brand, it will make Taipei one of a very strong company that can reach uh, the rest of the world. Fourth is reach. We believe that by having good impression to the brand and connect to the uh, consumers um, very directly, it will make us a very special uh, company, uh, if you can imagine, in ASEAN where any company that comes in from international will not be able to compete with the local people who can reach each other very easily. And fifth and finally, professionalism is all about you. It is all about investing in system and people that we can grow professionally together. Taipei is the largest ASEAN beverage and food company. And when combined with uh, FNN, we love to use the flag ASEAN to represent who we are. We are a very significant players, and in, we are in top 10 um, in terms of both uh, revenue and beverage, and we will pursue our growth journey. So we hope that you can join and witness the growth of the ASEAN players into a very significant and influential players in the Asia market. Let me take you through our story and our journey. After our start, we soon became the largest player in the spirit segment in Thailand. And in 1995, we created Chang Brands, uh, which was tapping into the growing beer business. 2003, uh, we became the public companies and um, eventually listed in the Singapore Stock Exchange. After that, investment in Oshi diversified us into non-alcoholic beverage and food business. Uh, followed by investment in China and further expansion into Samsung, uh, which operates the, one of the largest uh, network that covers the restaurant um, footprints in Thailand. The year 2012 was very significant for us that we moved from being a local champion to an international player. We were trusted to be the majority shareholders of Fraser Neve FNN which was already a 130 years old company. And that primed us for the movement into the next chapter, which became uh, Vision 2020. With Vision 2020, we continued to uh, expand and diversify. Uh, we became the largest uh, franchisee of KFC brands in Thailand. And we were entrusted again to be the majority shareholders of Sapico which is one of the largest and significant companies in Vietnam and the largest beer players, 140 years old, very long history with great brands, followed by the investment in Myanmar, Grand Royal Group as the largest um, players in the brown spirits. And we will continue to add uh, important brand to us, including Starbucks through partnership with um, FNN and Maxim in 2019. And now we are at the beginning of the next chapter, which is Passion 2025. So do you know how many product groups that we have? Well, as you can see, four, right? So it's three beverage, which is spirits, beer, and NAB, which stands for non-alcoholic beverage, and food is become our fourth pillars. So uh, as I mentioned before, um, each of the product groups, we have a very significant leadership positions um, in the spirit with the color code there is red. We have some of our brand is featured very highly in the world ranking and become the core of the funding of very stable uh, growth trajectory into the futures. Now, shifting on to the beer business, Chang, as you know, is already sort of the very um, at my brands uh, for the Thais and the people who have visited Thailand 
all over the world. So when you think of Chan, they can immediately con conjure the image of Thailand. So that has become one of the core brands. And now with the acquisition of Sapigo, which also on its own right has many uh, big brands uh, like Ba 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 or uh, Saigon Beer, we together become the number one uh, beer players in ASEAN in terms of volume in business. And we are uh, in a very core growth market of um, Vietnam. And uh, we also started our own operations in the country of Myanmar. So the activities of the beer business continue to be very exciting and vibrant. Um, over the past few years, we've also made our non-alcoholic beverage um, becoming profitable. Um, that is important because uh, non-alcoholic be beverage can allow us to connect to your grandmother, to your grandfather, to your brothers and sisters, to your youngsters. So our products can be consumed and used by everyone. And that's one of the reasons why we use the term always with you uh, as a slogan when uh, reaching out to the consumers. So this is a very important piece. Now food, it is also very important to be able to be a company that can track the very behaviors or the very preferences of the consumers. And that's why it's very important for us to be in the business of food because we will have to strive ourselves to be really your preferred brand um, in consuming um, the last bite or the last sip uh, in the uh, ambience that fit your lifestyle. So being in the food business uh, indirectly forces us to be a lifestyle business where we learn how the consumer is shifting and try to make sure that we are there. So you can see that uh, already as the top three players in Thailand, we are continue to grow and we invested significantly in the technology platforms as well as the brand so that we can learn to be very close to you, all the consumers. So we know that uh, you are all very young, very exciting. Uh, I, if I need to understand the world, I need to see the world through your eyes. But I think I can also see the world through the eyes of these people. These are some of our friends who work very extensively uh, with us in uh, working with the new consumers. Uh, I'm sure that uh, you know a lot of them. Um, they are very different to us. And of course, um, the one that is close to my heart is Pitun. Uh, Pitun has been our long partner in um, bringing the message of health, message of endurance and dreams and doing good things to, to the futures. Uh, and the other youngsters are also our popular friends who uh, will work together with us in uh, carrying out the message of beloved brands and reaching out to you. So you, you can be sure that um, your journey and time with us will be very exciting in terms of opportunities to work with brands, work with uh, our brand ambassadors uh, to uh, create like new exciting topics um, that create ripples, uh, positive ripples in, into the, the consumer markets. Not only the uh, consumers and brand, we are also very focused on making sure that we bring the pride to ASEAN in terms of being one of the most sustainable company. So through the work with the Dow Jones Sustainability Index, which we began in the year 2015, we aspire to create our operations in a very comprehensive way uh, that is uh, looking at how we can become a sustainable players. So step by step, we have made improvement. And by the year uh, 2017, we were already into the World League so that you can see the color of world member. And in the year um, 2019 and 2020, we are now the world leader. So it means in the entire um, beverage industry, um, putting together all the big names of the world, I will not name them, you can say all the big names, all the countries where they're headquartered in Europe, in America, in Japan, and everyone, Taipei is considered as the number one in terms of being the industry leaders of the uh, sustainability practice. So now we are at a very dynamic part of our journey the transformation from Vision 2020 to Passion 2025. Passion 2025 is our roadmap for the next five years. It encompasses our transformation journeys as well as the attributes that will help secure our futures, which include the P-A-S-S-I-O-N. P for us will stand for perseverance, A stand for admirable, 
S stands for speed, and the second one stands for sustainable. And I will become an important part of the next five years, which is innovation. And one will always remind us about the oneness and the drive to be number one in the market. And as well as N for network, we stand for the belief that we will do things in partnership, in partnering for the goals and achieve everything with our stakeholders. The journey in itself will comprise of multiple projects going on at the same time uh, along the three themes. One is build innovative offerings, and the second one is strengthening our leadership position, especially in many markets in ASEAN. And the unlock aspect will see many important initiatives in optimizing the values as well as the asset that Taibev has accumulated. And through these three domains, the transformation will add on the uh, capacity and the new capabilities uh, to take us to the next level of leadership by the year 2025. The journey in itself was already dynamic, and with the arrival of COVID, it has accelerated the journey uh, even further. I think we must all admit that COVID is an event that we never expected. But if we look at the situation carefully, it also offers us the opportunity to rethink and how to emerge uh, stronger. And this aspect, uh, I think, is very important. Not only that, we believe that people is our most important capital and asset. We use the theme stronger than ever as the guide to our people practice, where we care for our people as the most important uh, capital and asset. So giving them the assurance 24 hours through the 24 hours call center, caring for our people and families um, through investment in important healthy products, um, the sanitizing alcohols, uh, expanding our capability to produce uh, personal protective equipments and care for our employees as well as their families, making them feel secure through the insurance, all of them, including our wage employees. And most importantly, we also invested in our own COVID testing centers, which is very important in making sure that our people feel secure and that translates into the confidence in our business. So even today, when uh, throughout the ASEAN countries, I believe that um, the journey with um, challenging situation with COVID will not subside easily, but we feel very uh, confident that um, our focus on people and practices will take us through forward and becoming stronger than ever. I already said that COVID is an accelerator. One thing that was a positive acceleration was certainly our digital transformation. So reaching out to all the employees. Um, first, we joke that um, our large base of employees uh, is very large, so it's therefore very difficult to reach to. But in the matter of weeks, we are now able to reach 95% uh, of our population uh, on a daily basis, many times with adoption of technologies. And we'll continue to work on this number until it reach 100%, even though uh, we have many uh, various segments of our employees. And technology is very important for us. So we continue to invest and in making sure that we become the workplace that is very uh, competent with using technologies. Our human capital practice is a cloud-based, um, world-class platform that covering all countries. Uh, we follow the behaviors of the younger generations with continuously um, new applications. And uh, we continue to be a company that try to combine uh, both the technology aspect and the people aspect and making sure that we reinvent ourselves all the time. So all of this has translated into something we can be very proud of by the year uh, 2020. First of all, uh, is the employee engagement. I'm very happy to share that uh, the investment and focus on our people is also recognized by uh, our team. And in the year 2020, our engagement level has reached the world-class level uh, or the top tier level, which you can see in the green zone. A very important milestone for us. And I do believe that uh, it is supported by our focus and care for them during the COVID year and being uh, 
a very dynamic company in addressing their uh, lifestyles and allowing them to feel empowered to take the journey together. We were voted to be among HR Asia best companies to work for in Asia for the second consecutive years. And most significantly for us, we were among only five companies that were recognized in the We Care HR Asia Most Caring Companies Award in the year 2020. So that culminates our uh, journey on the people side uh, over the past five years and accelerated by the situation of, co of COVID over the past uh, one year. We understand that making the difference to the society is very important for the young generation. And we are proud to report that the type of group has our heart in the same place. We give great importance to sustainability and working on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, all 17 of them. As you can see today, I'm proudly wearing the pin here, which represents our commitment together to make the world a sustainable place for our next generations. The five pillars uh, is something that is very important for us. And I also believe that for the young generation to have a chance to do something that is um, greater than what you are able to do alone, um, try to make a big difference um, is very important and it makes our lives meaningful. So our five pillars include education, um, public health, sports, arts and culture, and community development. Uh, if you're part of the Taipei families, uh, we can have in a very direct way opportunities to contribute in these uh, five pillars. And even if you're not part of the direct uh, Taipei group families, there are still many opportunities to partner together in innovative and creative ways to make the difference with the society. Let me take you through very quickly uh, our five pillars, uh, starting with education, a lot of uh, direct investment into the education from the very young space, innovative way of working with schools, with university, and investment together with a very high-end advanced uh, education institution like Carnegie Mellon of the United States to make sure that we can continue to bring the leading edge technologies to the society. Um, moving on to public health, um, we've invested in researches, um, distribution of care to um, the people. Um, we have also sponsored invested in, in hospital. In the COVID year, that has become a very important segment of our contribution to the society. And next from the public health sector is sports. Uh, you know that Taipei has been very big in uh, sport, um, beginning with our strong involvement in the British Premier Leagues over the past 20 years. But not only that, uh, we are the proud uh, fire behind the uh, national teams in uh, Thailand and I hope also in Vietnam and in the uh, many, many uh, variety of sports where we really believe in supporting uh, them and making sure that um, all the sport prosper because sport is such an important thing to tie uh, people together. Next to sport is of course arts and culture, um, not only the traditional art, but also um, modern and contemporary arts. BAB stand for Bangkok Art Biennale. Uh, and this is an event that is inspired by the Venice Art Biennale happening every two years. The most uh, recent one is called Escape Roots. Uh, if you are in Bangkok or even virtually, you can visit many world-class art installation um, that we have put together throughout um, the country during this period. Next to art and culture is community development. This is something that we believe is like the direct contribution to the people. So uh, in each of the areas, uh, we go into very deep level and work together with the uh, people in the villages to make sure that it happens in the way uh, that makes sense for them. Um, our uh, learning is that uh, it cannot just be something you want to give to them. It, it has to be something you understand that they wish and then you work together with them to make it happen. So that is something that we are proud to share with you. And there's a very important opportunity coming up. And let me take this uh, final minutes of my presentation to give you the brief introduction of the opportunities that we have together. So the TAPEF internship program for ASEAN students will be welcoming uh, both bachelor's and master's uh, degree students uh, for the internship opportunity with us. 
we have beginning or we are already in the process of um, opening and welcoming applications, which will continue until the 28th of February. And you have opportunity to ask us questions about that today. And the program um, is planned to start for the two months period in June and July this year. So during the program, um, we'll, you will be uh, oriented toward the world of the beverage and food business. And you have opportunities to understand both the diversity and culture of doing business together. And we will have um, not only that, but also um, mentorship and coaching by our experience uh, management and opportunity to work together with the talents group of Taipei. Um, there'll be additional trainings and opportunity to work in real world projects. And we hope that uh, throughout the two months period, it will be one of the very memorable experience and something that open up many doors for you going forward. So if this opportunity sounds interesting for you, please join us in this journey by scanning this QR code. So hope that was a uh, good information for you. A lot of information. Uh, Sandy, I remember when we were planning this, we started off as a physical event mm -hmm. and yes. suddenly COVID happened. Yeah. That we felt that we have to carry forward. We have to keep the opportunity. So I think we can all remember 17th of January today. Yes. Yeah, we are all connected on Zoom and on YouTube. Yeah. And no matter what happens outside in the world, in the States, in Europe or elsewhere, right here, we take the youngsters of ASEAN and we connect together. So um, I hope that this would be a good beginning for great dialogues and opportunity for, for you all. Yeah. yeah, so as ASEAN, we stay connected and stay strong together. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so thank you, Dr. Ikapo, for sharing to us all limit, uh, limitless opportunities at Taibev Group. Now let's hear an answers to the questions here. Nah -ha. Okay. Mm, so I, I think there's a lot of questions uh -huh, because we have um, two channels here. We have on um, Zoom meeting and we also have on YouTube live streaming. Uh -huh. So in parallel to the question, can I also add, um, I'm really curious to, to also hear after almost half an hour of oh. information uh -huh. sharing, which element did you like the most? So we can sort of tune in, yeah. tune in. So if you have questions to ask me about recruitment, please type in. Or if not, please help us connecting with each other by typing in the chat which element of which story you sort of enjoy or you know, you know, yeah. you, you connected to the most yes. in, 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 in my talk. Yeah. Yes, okay. it would be perfect that you can share to us as well and what do you think okay. about our company, Naka? Okay. Okay. So let's take on the first question. The first question. So what kind of students or what competency are you looking for in students? Okay. Super question. Um, I think now today, um, I would go for two things, okay. First one, we'll be looking for collaboration. Mm. So I think uh, we look in the elements of students who have this ability to collaborate with others, working in teams and even beyond teams and um, has, has the ability to not just doing something on their own but connect to others. And I think in this age of super connectivity, um, the attribute of being able to collaborate is very important. Um, second one I would highlight is communication. Mm, yeah, I think one of important. the most important skills or attribute that you could have is communication. Um, I will start off with listening, great yes. listening skills, um, oral communication as well as written communication. That would be great. Yeah. So if you started off with these two things, I think you're off to a very good start. Yeah, today we heard of um, active listening. Yes. Yeah, it's quite important nowadays. Okay, let's move on to the second question. How many people you accept for this super interesting program? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, so first of all, we have uh, more than almost 800 people joining today. Mm. Uh, so this will be an important number. Oh, yes. The ratio between that. 
Um, let, let me start with fact, okay? Um, the ASEAN internship program was, was designed for 30 people, yeah. three zero, right? At but first. Yeah, at first. Uh, but now, based on the overwhelming responses from you all, and also with the possibility of COVID not subsiding, I think we'll be thinking about at least expanding uh, that a bit by half, by 15 more, and do it on a virtual program. So, mm -hmm. so we, we could be looking at up, up to about you know, 30 to 40 people. And depending on how we engage after this one, if we can find some other ways to like expand the uh, participation numbers, we'll try, we'll okay. try. But I'll just go with the fact that we started off with 30, 30 ASEAN, yes. and then now expanding a little bit, perhaps adding 15 more uh, to accommodate for the virtual program. Sure. But anything beyond that, uh, we'll, we'll have to work. We we'll have to I work. I see. Yeah. So it means that if your ASEAN students who currently um, studying or, or work in, in yeah. ASEAN countries and uh, unable to come to Thailand, you still can join our program. Yes, and that is something that we just brand new worked on. And, oh, yes. and but we are confident that we will we'll be able to address the COVID situation even if it does not subside by that time in June. Yeah. I see, that's perfect. Yeah. So let's move on to the third questions. Okay, so... Sandy, um, which one? Yeah, maybe this one. Are there any positions for engineering students in the internship program? In the internship program, okay. So first of all, definitely inside Taipei Group, um, technology and engineering is a big part of our organization. And as we move into deep technologies, um, applied technology is also a very big part of our business. Uh, we are one of the strongest players um, in logistics um, in the country. And in I, I think in all of us, we are one of the, the strongest players. And the production side is also um, very, um, you know, advanced in terms of engineering as well. So working definitely. In terms of the internship itself, let's just say that yes, there is possibility, but as you know that we are a very much a brand-driven company. You see a lot of brands, uh, marketing-driven companies. Um, so a lot of internship op opportunity might be on the commercial side. Mm, but let I me um, take that on board. But yes. um, on the normal internship program, each year we definitely have internship po uh, position for engineering Very. as well. I yeah. see. So, um, we will be transforming ourselves beyond brands and marketing into tech. Tech, 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 tech company. <laughs> <laughs> try, okay. we try, we try. <laughs> to respond to the situation as to well. To respond okay. to the aspiration of the students, <laughs> yes, yes. I see. So, okay, next question is, is multilingual a big advantage? Okay, super. So first of all, uh, English is very important. Okay, uh, I, I did say that communication is very important. Um, and we have also have a, a sort of an aspiration that ASEAN language is important. Mm. Yeah, so now you also have, if, if you already have two languages, one is your ASEAN mother tongue plus English, okay. I think that's very good. Uh, if you can speak um, beyond that, that is very a good plus, as well. Yes. Yeah, it's a plus, yeah. I see. Okay, okay, so next question. What will happen after internship program? <laughs> and is there any opportunity for to, jo to join directly? Okay, um, I would say definitely. Um, one of the key thing I hope that you took away from my talk is the DNA of Taibev is very much about growth. So each year, despite the economic situation, you can observe that we make a lot of effort to grow, whether through um, you know, acquisitions, um, even expanding by ourselves, coming up with new programs, new, new, new products. So um, I would say that comparatively to other business, we will be on the growth trajectory, especially, especially uh, we so much believe in the potentials of young people. Mm -hmm. So uh, if we could find opportunities just to create growth, to um, work with young people, such as yourself, uh, it is something that we definitely try to work on, right? So the answer is yes, um, and we'll continue to work on each year on what are the areas that we, as Thai Web Group, expand into. I see, it's very interesting. So next question is, what is the working culture in Thai Web? Huh? Okay, 
working culture for Thai Bev, you can also save the question for, for our 10 speakers, oh, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'll say one thing, but Sandy, can you also come up with some answers as well? But, uh, but yeah, I'll, sure. I'll just... Uh, I would like to just first of all scare you off. <laughs> 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 so in Thai Bev, I think if you, are, if you love working, if you work hard, if you love working, uh, it's, it's going to be great fun because lots of work and um, because the company you have to accept has been grown from a family business mm -hmm. and by being entrepreneurial uh, I think uh, the, the people who enjoy work there's so much work to be done right mm -hmm. so uh, but ha having said that uh, I think one of the things that we like to um, add on to just being hardworking is uh, working collaboratively together having good teams and uh, the other one is um, I'll just add this one is part of our core culture caring for stakeholders mm. uh, so what does it mean it means that it's not like you just you just get your job done on a very short term but leave consequences for others I think we try to think very long term there was one one time it was so interesting we were doing like management meeting right mm. and we were coming up with like three years plan right oh, yes. and thought oh <laughs> that our boss, the CEO, he wanted a, a thirty year plan. A thirty, 30 year plan. So <laughs> three zero. <laughs> times ten. <laughs> times ten, yes. <laughs> but but I think thir thirty years for the young generation ju is just about right, right? Uh, like yes. you join um, 23, 25. Yeah. yeah. So if it's a place where you know we at least look out thirty years, you feel sort of okay. Uh, <laughs> at least it's being planned. It's being planned. So so that that's my view. Yeah. How I about see. you, Sandy? So my answer would be. Because actually Thai Bev is full of uh, opportunities, mm -hmm. um, especially for young generation. If you, are, if you put all of your efforts, like 120% plus, yeah. um, and you keep updated your skills, mm -hmm. I think the opportunities is there for you already. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because um, no matter you are young, they, they will keep, uh, give you a chance yes. to do it. So as Sandy said, uh, opportunity is a big key word for Thai Bev. Uh, we actually operate under the theme limitless opportunities yes, limitless. and about five years ago when we were like designing this concept we had to make sure that the company itself uh, believe in the concept of growth and limitless opportunities and after confirming and everything I think we are one company who really believe in growth and therefore we can fully embrace limitless opportunities as our theme yes and uh, plenty of job waiting <laughs> waiting yeah. for us to, to do. Yeah, yeah. Thai yeah. is like a very open company. Yeah. Um, you can, uh, in my case, I, mm. I can like uh, go talk to my boss, like what project that I'm interested right yeah. now and then I would like to try, they'll they give you a chance. And you all just came back from UK for yeah, your yes. scholarship? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Which you experienced COVID in UK as well? It, yes. A bit. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but, but it cannot limit my um, opportunity because I come back here and still like studying on my thesis. And then after that, I yes. came back and joined here in, in Thai Bev as well. CSN is a part of Thai Bev. Yes. Ha. Okay. Next okay. question. So next question. Is it for just intern student or any opportunity for graduates? Okay. Super. Great question. I think as you already have direct connection to our team um, through um, the QR code and, and, and everything, you can also bypass the internship process and apply directly as well, if, if that is the case for you. Um, I think the importance of internship is, um, you know, a lot of you uh, is still in the third and fourth year. So uh, experiencing the various companies, and in this case, experience the ASEAN opportunity with Type F will give you a stronger um, you know, uh, uh, experiment or at least a view into the real world. So therefore, we are designing the internship program. But if you are ready to apply, you know, please go ahead. And uh, the team is very much ready to answer your questions. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Okay. Huh. So why did you decide recruit trainees from ASEAN, for example, Vietnam? Wow, super. Okay. So I love this question because it starts yeah, with too. why. why. It starts with yes. why. All right. So um, I, I began my talk today that uh, we, we have this um, to be the stable and sustainable ASEAN leader in total beverage and food company as our vision, right? And I also said that, that uh, re-examine our deep connection with ASEAN. So first of all, we believe in the potential of ASEAN. We believe that ASEAN is one big communities 
and no one knows exactly what is like the ASEAN culture, mm -hmm. right? So even now, I think we're still yeah. in the same journey, but I think we put our aspirations out there. So by, f by saying that we want to recruit ASEAN interns and ASEAN team, it's part of our journey to say that, uh, okay, we continue very progressively forward to put ASEAN front and center and learn how we ourselves become ASEAN citizens and create uh, opportunities for ASEAN. I do believe that um, in the world of competition and super connectivity, uh, coming together at ASEAN will be strong in the world market. So if all of us feel that we are part of um, ASEAN, uh, we can have a strong foothold to um, you know, compete and succeed in the world arena. So ASEAN is a strategic focus. I see. Yes. So I saw an interesting question. Uh, is the internship paid or unpaid? Okay. <laughs> May I ask you, would you like it to be paid, paid or unpaid? unpaid. <laughs> okay, so I think the vote is coming up. Yes, it's paid. So it is a paid internship or um, not so much. It's, it's a token. It's, it's, it's a, a token. daily allowance. Yeah, say. it's a daily allowance. It's a token of uh, appreciation, but it is it is a pay, paid, paid internship. internship. Yeah. Yes. Could I do online internship if I'm not in Thailand? Okay, great question. So as I mentioned before COVID, yes. we were thinking just about physical internship program. But now with COVID, we have to stink fresh. And um, over the past week, we've been discussing with the team and we are committed to have an online portion, uh, uh, an, an online program. So, so we, we are committed to make this happen. So the answer is yes, we yes. will be offering uh, a subset of the total program, which is designed for online participation. I see. Yeah. But we carry out the same standards. Yes. 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 Carry out the same standard. Okay. Uh, and run in parallel. I see. You're still in the same batch. Same but batch. One is physical and one is online. virtual. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Is there any opportunity for art students? Uh, what do you think? Uh, 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 let, let, let me defer. <laughs> so, based on your observation of who yes. we are, do you think there are opportunities for art students in, in Taipei? Yes, of course, because my background <laughs> is actually journalism. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm could be considered at as students okay. as well. So I yes. would also say that over the past year, 2020, we've recruited a lot of really deep arts candidates as well. Why? Uh, I think you saw, I talked about the five pillars. One of the five pillars in making the difference to the world, yeah. contributing to sustainability is arts and culture. We were the one who initiated BAB, BAP, Bangkok Arts Biennale. So we do need people who um, can define and make this arts engagement, mm. art as the language of engagement, uh, important, right? So, so yes, there is. Um, mm. I would hope that, you know, even though you come from an arts um, background, after you learn how to engage and make the difference, you'll be also interested in a broad base as well, because um, having a career that rotates, okay, give you a broad spectrum of, of experiences, I think that that is stronger for your long-term growth. I see. Yeah. We even have a group of people that working on art and culture projects uh -huh. yes, right now yes. in Taipei. Yes, we so have group whose job description is about art. Art, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can I receive a certificate after completing the internship? Yes, definitely. Yeah, definitely, definitely. yes. And I'll make sure that our group CEO, Kun Tapada, will sign on that sign person. On. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, and the last question for us today. How many students are interned in this program? Okay, um, so let me put out the fact, as mm, I mentioned, yes. uh, we did decided originally for 30, right? And now with COVID, I think we are committed team, let's put that to 30 plus 15. So we're now thinking at 45, okay. 45. Uh, and so that's the number, that's that, number that we'll be looking for right now. Okay, I yeah. see. Ha. As today we have quite limited time and we still have our 10 speakers waiting here. Shall we take a photo together with our participants ha, yes. before moving to the next session? Yes. So okay, so the, we will going the to magic do... magic of Zoom, right? Yes, so yes. <laughs> so it's the very first time, okay. but we're doing it together. Okay. So for those who join with Zoom, please join with video and uh, believe you are... Camera, yes. Please. And uh, smile for three seconds. We will take three shots together three shots. by counting down three, two, one, and then we post. Okay, for the first shot, we're gonna do the like, like the this. Like. Okay. So everybody do like this, everybody do like this. Okay. 
Okay, show me your hand. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to take a photo together. I will counting down in a second. So, everybody ready? Three, two, one, smile. Okay, and we we, we have to okay. change screen, right? Change okay. screen. Oh, let, okay. Let let's let, let's wait for your friend. Okay. Yeah. We we have to capture all. Everybody. Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> almost seven hundred people. Okay. How many screen that we have? <laughs> okay, we have to do. Okay, I think there are. There are okay, no. I think that's that's all. Not not yet. Not, not yet. yet. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. Still. See, not yet. Okay. 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 I believe that. Okay. That is. All okay. okay. So the second pose will be a mini heart. Oh, I thought the student say C. Tolong C or mini heart. Mini heart first. Mini heart first. <laughs> mini okay, heart mini, heart first. okay. <laughs> mini heart first. Okay. Mini heart. Mini heart. Okay. The Korean heart. Okay. Mini heart. We are ASEAN who loves mini heart. <laughs> okay. 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 Mini heart. Smile as well. Smile. Okay. 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 Let's move on to the last one. Let's do C on the right hand. C stand for career journey. Yeah. <laughs> C for C for uh, collaboration. Oh, yes. right hand, right hand, right hand, right hand. Use your right hand, please. Right hand, right hand. Okay, right hand. Right hand and smile. <laughs> so C has so many good meanings. Yeah. We have connectivity. Collaboration. Yeah. Okay. okay. Super. Super cool. Super. Okay. So if you have um, further questions, you can ask us at our official line at Taibev Career ASEAN, like showing on the screen here. Or if you uh, any of you interested about uh, Thai Bev ASEAN internship program, you can apply by scanning this QR code until the end of February. The program will be conducted uh, during June to July this year. Or if you would like to discover about our career opportunities, please visit us at careers.thaibevgroup.com. For those who just arrived, you are here both on Zoom and YouTube. You can win our lucky draw prizes by first capturing the Zoom or YouTube screen and second, type your full name and send both to the chat by January 19th. The announcement will be on January 20th. If you are the lucky one, we send the prize to your doorstep. Now let's hear from our speakers. The next session, we will share you about the scope of work in charge. How did they get opportunities to work in ASEAN? What elements of passion that help them stand up from the crowd? How to grow in ASEAN and how type of support them to grow? The first session will be presented by five speakers, then followed by Q&A. Then we hear the second session that will be presented by the second group of speakers, then another Q&A. For the first session, we have Kun Gawin. Junior SCM specialist from Thai Beverage uh, Logistic, uh, and we have Kun Insi, na Kun Insali Jojo from uh, Legal Affairs, Assistant Manager of Foreign Investment Support from Thai Beverage. We have Kun Nopapon, na ka, from Senior SCBP Specialist, Sabeko and Project Thai Beverage. We have Kun Napat, na ka, from Senior Sustainability Development Officer from Thai Beverage, and we have Kun Yot Kuwariwong, na ka, Marketing Director of Emerald Beauty Myanmar Limited. Na ka, let's hear from them. Ka. Now let's move to the first speaker. Na ka. Welcome all. Welcome. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm Win. Xin chào tất cả mọi người. Mình là Win. สวัสดีครับทุกคนครับชื่อวินนะครับก็แต่แน่นอนว่าผมไม่ใช่เป็นผู้ขับขี่ผู้ตัดสินวินนะฮะ So now I will take you through the journey of my very first year at Thai Bank Group as a junior supply chain management specialist. Actually, I'm the youngest one here today among speakers. And somehow I wish that my sharing about what I have been working and learning in Thai Bev may give you some useful insights about career path that you guys may take once having become a member of this big family. So within one year, I've got the opportunities for working for two 
different companies of Thai Bank Group. In the very first month, I was working in Thai Bank Logistics Company, TBL. And as you may know, yes, this is a logistics service provider or so-called a CBL company. So uh, we take responsibility for on-time in-phone delivery with the optimal cost for our customers. And I have to say, uh, TBL has one of the most robust supply chain networks in Thailand, with more than with more than 50 warehouses across the country, uh, and with a huge shop fleet. So therefore, challenges are our friends on daily basis. But I can say for sure that I can learn a lot from these words. And after getting to know the operations in which a logistics, a logistic company provides service for customers, I was luckily transferred into supply chain management team of some two company. And this time is a manufacturer and distributor of various high quality beverages in Thailand, like you may know like S or Crystal. Therefore, my knowledge about not only about logistics, but also about supply chain management has been consolidated significantly with TBL and Samsung company. Um, moreover, I must say that how fascinating it is to engage in projects that many sister companies in Taipei Group cooperate with each other to deliver the best products with high service level for our external customers. Um, no, but not least, after one year stay in Thailand, Thanks to the company support for my Thai language learning, I'm now able to confidently communicate not only in English, but also in Thai language and enjoy my career back in Thailand. For sure, there are so many things that I want to share with you guys, but I think I'd better keep it for our Q&A session. It would be my honor to receive your questions. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Super. Good afternoon, everyone. First of all, I would like to say thank you for joining this event. I am Inzali Joso. I'm from Myanmar, and I'm working at the Office of Legal Affairs in Time Beverage Public Company Limited. I'm joining Time Buff in 2018. Now it is uh, in three years and counting many more years in Time Buff. As an in house lawyer, my responsibility is mainly for legal suggestion regarding international basic transaction for compliance with the laws, rules, and regulation. And also I'm in charge of the updating Myanmar laws and regulations because TimeBuff has diverse regional businesses, not only in Thailand, but also in Myanmar and other ASEAN countries. Today, I'm happy to share my experience to all French students and graduates how I'm working in TimeBuff and how to prepare yourself to applying your academic knowledge for practical work. In respect of it, I would like to propose three things. The first thing I would like to recommend is to all, uh, the first thing I would like to recommend is to prepare yourself and your CV for internship program, which will provide you the real practical knowledge. For example, joining this kind of career event and applying internship program. The second one, the second one I would like to recommend is once you receive the opportunity to internship or job offer, please don't be afraid of accepting challenges. Only challenges can bring you to the bright future. For example, in our company, whenever we have challenges, first we accept them, then we cooperate together with other team members to overcome those challenges. Therefore, it is not only you, it will be also teamwork. The last but not the least suggestion is to have the spirit of a lifelong learning. This is technology and competitive world. If we don't learn for ourselves or for our work, we cannot survive. This is important to time of too. So the company also encourage its employees to have learning and individual development plan. For instance, although I have a legal background, I also need to learn about technology and a new our area, such as privacy, personal data, cross-border data transaction, and so on. To conclude, please keep these three recommendations in mind and apply this internship program and grab the opportunity. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kunha Unilsi.
Good afternoon, everyone. So I would like to introduce myself. My name is Nopapon Sansi Penkun. I work at uh, Sabeco, Vietnam. So in, my, in 2018, my boss assigned me to work as the transformation project to support the transformation periods of Sabeco, one of largest company in Vietnam. So when you work across country, you may understand the culture, you may understand the language, also you can know about people in another country. So in Taipei, you have a lot of opportunity. You can move, you can ask what, you can learn. Also the company support you. So we have the IDP, we call the individual development plan. So you can learn, you can improve your skill uh, and the company support you as your requirement. So the last but not least, if you want to grow with uh, Sabeco or you grow with Taibev, so you can apply the works or internship via Sabeco website or Taibev website. So in here, limitless opportunity. I see. That's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Napat and I am a sustainability development officer and a part of Taibev sustainability development working team. So I've been with Taibev for almost three years and I'm based here in Bangkok. So allow me to give you all a brief introduction about Taibev sustainability development working team. Our team is responsible for driving Taibev corporate sustainability. We work closely with business units and corporate functions to develop sustainability targets. We collect data and information to create insights as well as action plans to achieve those targets. Our team is responsible for preparing the sustainability report where Taibev informs our stakeholders of our sustainability efforts throughout the year. And we are also responsible for providing information to the Dow Jones Sustainability Indices or DJSI as Dr. Egapon has already mentioned in his presentation that we have been named uh, the beverage industry leader for three consecutive years. Okay. Our team consists of representatives from different business units across Taibev. And I am a representative from the supply chain management function. So as part of this team, not only that I get a chance to learn new insights on global trends in sustainable development, but also by working close in close collaboration with my affiliate business unit, as well as team members who come from different backgrounds and expertise, I get a chance to learn about the different functions across Taipei as well. So as sustainability team, of course, we are fully supporting the second S attribute in Passion 2025, which is sustainable. And we work to ensure that key sustainability initiatives are practiced throughout the company. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Ha. Thank you, Kap Napat. This is the last speaker already. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. So, the Kap Tukon. Actually, I'm very excited to see the number of the participants here today. And if you are looking for a career, I think it's a really good start for you all to join Taibev this uh, career journey together. So, my name is Jot Kuwari Wong, and I'm Thai. I am the marketing director at Emerald Brewery, located in Myanmar, which is Dr. Ekapun already mentioned earlier. A little background to everyone. Emerald Brewery is the first greenfield investment and operation of Thai Dev outside Thailand. Emerald Brewery has been officially started since September 2019, which I'm glad and very proud that uh, we are now officially commercial our famous Thai beer brand Chang Beer in Myanmar. It is our first brewery that brew and commercial Chang Beer outside of Thailand. And I also would like to share that so far, we are getting very good feedback from the market our Chang Bia is growing very well since our launch in the end of year 2019. My job is to taking care of both brand marketing and trade marketing of Chang Bia in Myanmar, which means not only to drive the brand awareness and also the brand equity, but including the to drive trial and sales in every of our distribution channels. So what I would like to highlight more here would, would be the support from the company, which uh, really appreciated in order to prepare ourselves to work in the overseas countries. So I think Kun uh, Nupapon mentioned earlier through Taibev Individual Development Plan, which we call in short the IDP program, we are able to plan our own career path as well as to get full support from the company to help preparing our own career journeys. 
One of the example that I would like to share about the support from Taibev that help prepare ourselves to work in Myanmar. The company has arranged a very effective and very useful development program called AMD, which is stand for ASEAN Management Development Program. This is a full management training program which uh, prepare us to be ready to work in international markets, especially in ASEAN countries. The program also allow us to have an opportunity to join class with our international colleagues from ASEAN countries inside our Taibev group. As Dr. Ikapon mentioned earlier, for example, our colleagues from FNN Malaysia or from Singapore, including our colleagues from Grand Royal, which is the biggest spirit company in Myanmar. The program has prepared us to understand more about ASEAN context, which is include all of the management courses, for example, ASEAN cultures, leadership in ASEAN countries, and sustainability growth in ASEAN. It, we also having class with our ASEAN colleague, which is very helpful with the team to have a networking with, the uh, with all the colleagues, as well as to prepare us to be ready for ASEAN market. And most importantly, it is very fun, dynamic, and energetic. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you everyone. Ha. And that's all from our speaker. Nah, thank you, Kun Kawin. Nah, yes, first half. Thank you, Kun Kawin. Thank you, Kun Insi. Nah, Kun Nopapol, Kun Napat, and Kun Yot. Nah, now it's our Q and A session. Let me read the first question for you. Oh, the first question. Nah, we have for Kun Kun Nopapol. Nah, how did your overseas work opportunities arise? You hear us? Yes. Actually, yes. the opportunity at Taibev is around on you. So, oh, uh, when 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 I apply uh, the job at Taibev, so I heard that Taibev uh, uh, nearly uh, acquired Sabeco in Vietnam. So I think this is the the most interesting for me. So when I I joined Taibev, so I asked board, how come I go to Vietnam? So I got that opportunity. So if you ask, and the bot will serve you at the Thai Bay, so limitless opportunity here. Yeah. Mm, Just see. ask. Yeah. Just ask. See opportunity to ask. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the second question, what is the challenge in working in overseas countries? Oh, I think the, the person that could answer um, this question could be uh, Kun Yot, nah, because Kun Yot uh, work in Myanmar right now, but actually he's Thai. Naha, could you share to us like what is the challenge in working in overseas country, Kun Yot? Thank you, thank you, Sandy. Um, yeah, I've been thinking over it about um, once I arrived there, right? So I think the most challenge to me is to, to work in overseas country is a, is a speed of adaptation. So it is not only how we respond quickly to the competitiveness of the market and the business, either from the competitors or from the other market environments, but uh, most importantly is how we can understand the local context, which for example, is the local cultures, market condition, consumer preference and behaviors, or even local rules and regulations. And then most important is how we can adapt ourselves quickly to the local market that we work with. The faster that we understand the localized environment, the better we can communicate and cooperate with our team and be able to build a strong teamwork environment and deliver a better result. Because to me, I think the, um, to drive success, it is not about one man player, it's not about one man show, right? As uh, I think Dr. Ekhon also mentioned, it's a, it's a teamwork that we have here, it's a collaboration that we have here. So the better that we can communicate to each other, the better that we can work together, I think that will be the better result for the company. I see, it's very interesting. Yes. See. Okay. I so saw some question from, from the chat. Yes. There's also a question Naka, for Kun Insi. Naka. How is working during COVID-19 like or is there any difference between the normal situation Ka Kun Insi? Are you muted? Oh, you are muted. Yes. Hello. Hi. Yes, Hi. Uh, working during COVID-19, it is a really bizarre period and for work from home the first thing to remind myself is self-discipline and then self-motivation. I prepare a proper working desk and also a separate room so that I can get 
um, I can concentrate my work and also I cannot get any disturbance from my family members. And I always uh, follow punctuality for working hours and keep motivated myself. And good things for motivation is also we still can join the meetings and webinars and work together through technology, uh, like for example, like this kind of event. And one thing to be careful is uh, not to overwork as well because uh, you can, we can reach, someone can reach through the phone call and email all the time when it is in work from home. So sometimes it is a bit difficult to disconnect uh, myself from the work. So self-discipline is important from my point of view. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Hakun Insi. We also have a very long question for Kun Kawin. What That's is very important question. Yeah, very important one. What decided you to join in this company? And, and what problem you face in Thai Bev? How did you survive until now? And <laughs> once we got accepted, do we have to learn Thai and should be able in speaking Thai, working in as your position? Okay, ready? Come in. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so first of all, thank you for your question. She has a real long and <laughs> I think challenging <laughs> question as well. I think like you, question has a two, three parts. So for the first one, why, why, I'm going to ask why I chose uh, TypeF as my company that I want to work for. But actually, I just have just finished my special degree in, uh, in 2019 in Vietnam. And then TypeF, they have a... Um, uh, an internship, uh, let's say a training, a training program for students in Ho Chi Minh City, which is the biggest uh, city in Vietnam. Uh, so I applied for the, the, the program, I was elected. So that, that's why, that, that's how I came to Thai, Thai, Thai Bev. Um, uh, I had to say that Thai Bev is kind of, uh, I think like it's really hard to find a um, job opportunity like this, like working with Thai Bev because uh, Thai Bev is somehow like um, now, now one of the biggest company in Asia, and you know, to I have just like I have almost zero experience on the work, on on job, but then I got you know accepted by a big that big company, so that's why, I, okay, let's just give it a try working in Thailand. That's an amazing journey I would have. I believe that I would have, so that's why I chose it. And the other how the other part is about yeah. Thai. Yeah. yeah, for sure, like um, working in Thai, like I have to face many challenges. And I think there are two big challenges that I, myself, and maybe you guys, our very future Thai uh, family members may have to face when working in Thailand and with Thai web is, I, I would say it's a challenge. It's not difficult, it's a challenge. So first of all, we need to adapt ourselves to new culture, like Thailand culture and Thai web working culture. So uh, every very first day at Taiwan, my manager usually asks me like try to learn and adapt myself to Taiwan way to work because in Taiwan we come from many backgrounds and we have like people, the employees, they from many like you know uh, they have we have you know gas. We have people so from even like from Thailand, from Singapore, from Myanmar, and we work people from many nationalities. So we need to know like how to work with you know. Um, diversity background and um, yes the first one is the weight of work the second one is about language so Thai language I have my my Thai is just zero when I when I come here like almost one year ago and it's really hard for a Vietnamese for like me to learn Thai language because it's, it's you know it's a big big task you know big task for me to learn how to write how to read and um, but yes but after all, now I can speak Thai and I love, I love speaking Thai. And the other uh, thing is we need to, for example, in Vietnam, we, we mostly we use motorcycle, but in, Th in Thailand, we, most of the time we have to use car. And of course, just like a freshman, a freshman like me, I cannot afford for a car. So it's very really hard for me to do like, like after work, I want to learn, I want to join more activities, but it's really hard for me to do, to do so. So I choose uh, a solution, you know, to learn, to learn online courses to upgrade myself. Uh, so it is the first uh, challenge that like we need to know how to adapt ourselves to the new culture. And the second part is about like, when you know working here, I have to stay away from my family, from my friends. Actually like, yeah, physically, 
So that's why I need to know how to self-motivate myself, especially last year is a is a period of COVID and you know everything was was stuck a lot. So I at first I get a little bit stuck, but I then I had I say to myself like, hey, you need to move ahead. You need to you know like upgrade yourself. You have to learn and to work and learn why other people are struggling with COVID. So fortunately at uh, that time I. I spend most of my time, you know, like, okay, after work, I try to learn Thai language. Mm -hmm. I try to, you know, reading books. And but most of the time, I enjoy Thai language by, you know, listening to Thai music or doing, uh, watching Thai series. And I have to say that after, like, four, three or four months, I can, you know, love using Thai in my daily life. So it's like, I, and fortunately, at the beginning of my uh, internship program, the company also like sends me to a Thai language called classes, to a Thai language class, so in which I can, you know, get the instruction from the teachers. Um, so that is what I want would like to share with you about how we can how can like overcome the challenges while working in Thai uh, Like super. Yeah, super. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much, Thank you. Yeah, let's move to the next question, yeah. Naha. What background and experiences is preferred to join sustainability team? Oh, I guess Kun Napat Naha could answer this question. What background or experience is preferred to join sustainability team? Okay, uh, thank you for the question. So um, as I've mentioned earlier that our team actually consists of representatives from different business units across Thai Bev. So I think uh, if you ask me this, probably preferred if a representative will have a background or at least an experience related to a business unit or a function that uh, he or she is representing. For example, I'm a representative of the supply chain management. So um, it's important that I know all the components or all the business units that makes up Thai Bev's supply chain management and the scope of work that each business unit in the supply chain management is responsible for. But of course, this is just preferred, but not limited. I think the most important quality that makes you a good sustainability development officer is that you have to be um, visionary. I think because sustainability is all about the future. You always have to stay ahead. You're not thinking about the current situation. You're thinking about five years, 10 years from now, how you can make the world a better place and at the same time, make sure it's business sustainable. So I think the most important thing is that um, you have to be eager to learn, always stay hungry, yeah. and uh, um, drive for uh, sustainable development of the company. Thank you. I see. Thank you. I think it's important to all positions here. Yeah. You need to eager to eager learn. Eager to learn and adapt. And uh, Win also mentioned there's a lot of can-do attitude that I heard behind the words of Win as well. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's move on. Okay. I saw your study background. Oh, this question is for Kun Nopapon. Naka. Question for Kun Nopapon. I saw your study background from political science. How do you show and prove your ability in HR field and make the recruiter believe you that you are the best candidate for human capital department? Okay, thank you for the question. It's very interesting question. Actually, I study the major is political side, but uh, my minor is the uh, human resource management. So on that time, a uh, recruiter uh, confident that I can work at the HR because of I have the minor. So if anyone want to work in HR, so no matter you graduate, you can learn and you can adapt yourself. You can utilize your knowledge and also you can learn on the job training. So no matter you you start you graduate and you uh, in Thai Bev can grow you and can support you. If you have uh, any assignment, you can ask many people in the company and many people can support you to grow in the company and you can complete the job. So this is the way of work at Thai Bev. Everyone here and limitless opportunity. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Thank can you. I borrow that question to ask me as well? Oh, yeah, sure. Well, Ekapon, you graduated in electrical engineering. Wow, so you are an engineer. How, how did you convince <laughs> the other people to get to work in HR? Uh, uh. So I think um, if, if I were ever asked yes. that question, is it about the sort of the passion for people? Mm, yes. I mean, not only about HR, if you uh, show that you have this um, extra passion for the work, yes. uh, the opportunity will come. Yeah. I think the, the field of study is just 
one element of your preparation. Mm. There are many other things, like all the candidates said. Yes. yes. Okay. I hope that this one is clear. So, what are top three things or key values you have received and learned from your career at Taibev? Oh, I. I think this one is the last question. Nah. Okay. Uh, this one maybe for Kun Yot. Nah, right. What are top three things or key values you have received and learned from your career at Taibev? Okay, thank you, thank you. Actually, there are so many things to learn at Taibev. Well, top three so, things. <laughs> yeah, top three things, okay. I have to go slowly one by one. Um, I think the first thing is the, I think it's the teamwork and the collaboration. Right, that, uh, I think that, uh, that's the most important thing that I see working in Taipei. And I mean, actually it's not only in Taipei, but it's also to apply to everywhere in the world. When you want to achieve any target or achieve anything in life, sometimes you cannot do it alone. I mean, you're not only one of yourself in the world. Uh, you need, still need to coordinate with team. You still need the support from either from your boss or from some your subordinates, or even from your peers in the same level. So it is how uh, you can collaborate well with the other people and then work together as a team that, that you can drive to the result. So that will be the first one. Second one is uh, respect. I think uh, when we work in the big corporate or not even the big corporate, but even in your own family or with the other people, respect is what is a uh, value that you need to keep in your mind. When you pay respect to the other, the other people also respect you, right? So then um, whatever you want people to do it for you, you also have to uh, respect to them first, right? So that's all my second one. And the third one is the discipline. I think the NC also mentioned about the discipline, right? I think discipline is where you manage yourself uh, in order to, how say, uh, deliver the result, right? You have to, you have to be disciplined. You have to set yourself a goal, and you have to keep doing it in order to achieve the target. If you fail, no, that's okay. But you have to learn why you fail, and you keep improving, right? The goal is there, right? But you can change any plan. Okay. Thank you very much. That's Super. very interesting. Super. Uh, Super. Okay. So I believe that is the last question already. So thank you, Kun Gawin, Kun Insi, Kun Nopapon, Kun Napat, and Kun Yot, that share to us. Now let's start our last session. For this session, we have Kun Juthama, System Analysis Associate or IT at Thai Beverage. Uh, we have Kun Nong Lak, Kun Pesh. Promotion Manager, Cambodian Laos, FN Dairies. We have uh, Max, CEO Support Associate, Office of the President, Thai Beverage. We have Kun Andrea Anderson uh, from International Brand Manager, Changbia and Specialty Bayas. We, uh, she's from International Beverage Holding or IBHL and Chang International. And the last person is Kun Keng. Process Improvement and Quality Control Specialist from Thai Beverage Recycle. Let's begin. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Sawadee I'm Sutama from Thailand. System Analysis Associate in Office of Information Technology, and I've been working in Thaibet for three and a half years now. My educational background is Bachelor of Business Administration, BBA International Program from Chulalongkorn University. I'm so glad to be here today, and I'll be sharing you about my experience working in Thaibet from a junior employee's perspective. The most two impressive moments while working here would be one, be able to go to the United States, uh, United States and two is when I won the Best of Wild Awards 2019. So first, I'll talk about how I get to go to the United States. It started when I had an opportunity to work on a project with Carnegie Mellon University professors for type of research and development. It is related to artificial intelligence project. The university is in USA and the only way we work together is by sending email back and forth. 
after about two years, Kaisef would like to pay some visit on the campus. So the group CEO, key executives, and the work team from junior to senior level we fly to America. We visit professors' labs, we study their innovation, and have a sightseeing in the USA for about two weeks. It was a really valuable experience for me. Now I'll move on to my second most impressive event here in Tennis, the WOW competition. WOW stands for a way of work. And this is the stage where all employees can present their ideas and innovation. My team and I, about seven people, we gather together, we have to pass all four rounds. And the last round was the big stage with the audience of top executives, about 300 people. The winner will receive the prize from the chairman, vice chairman, and the group CEO. And that was one of the proudest moments of mine. That's all for my working experience. So in conclusion, Taibev really provides the opportunity for their employees, even junior level. And I wish you best of luck in your internship program. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay, let's hear from the second person, Naka Kunung Laka. Good afternoon, everyone. Ha. Happy to see you guys today. I'm Pesh Naha. I'm from here, Thailand. Naha. Uh, I'm taking care of all marketing, both branding and trade marketing for FNN Dairies, which is uh, under Thai Beth company and, um, for Cambodia and Laos. Naha. The product in our portfolio is Tanation, Teapot, Brabant, and Magnolia. You may heard about Thai Beth program from many speakers already. So now let me uh, tell you how can we make yourself ready for any chance that might come soon. For those who are in the last year of student life, the most challenging is that you don't have the working experience yet. So my SY uh, is you need to have two things. First, you need to have the clear goal the, and to understand what you want to do. I think it's take time, but what to do so for those who doesn't have it yet, the best thing to do is to explore and try to learn as much as you can so you get to know yourself more. And the second, which I think is very important, is the mindset. Try and to learn new things. When I recruit the new team member, if they are new graduated, the first thing I look is the attitude and the learning mindset. I need to find the sparkling in their eyes, whether they want um, to learn and to do something. So the more sparkling eyes get the job nah, most of the time when I recruit the team. So in Thai Bev, I would say every day is the new challenge. Some project might fail and some project might be so success. From my experience, I learned the most when I'm in the very tough situation. And working in CLMV is lots of fun. You will find something challenge every day. So I hope you all good luck and get a chance to do something that's sparkling your eye. Ha. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So good afternoon, everyone, and, um, and welcome. So in such a difficult time of the pandemic, uh, we can still manage to welcome many of you here, which is very great. I uh, thank you for joining, and I hope you, you enjoy the events, find it beneficial. So, okay, think about this. Um, a management planning uh, uh, strategy for Chang in Bangkok, Thailand. An executive having a meeting about FNN in Singapore or a brewmaster working in, in a brewery in, in Myanmar, or a sales staff trying to sell beer Saigon in Vietnam. So all those are Thai Bev. We are all across as ASEAN, offering limitless opportunities and many opportunities for co collaborations. That's what I want to touch on today. So a little bit about myself. My name is Max and I'm from Vietnam. I'm 26 years old. I started my career with Thai Bev uh, three years ago with a two-week training in FNN Singapore. And then I moved back to Ho Chi Minh City in my country for the sales and marketing department uh, of FNN Vietnam. And then I moved to Bangkok here 
where I've been working for more than two years, uh, supporting the CEO and other management of Taibet with matters related to Vietnam and Sabeco. Uh, recently, I was also chosen to be in the transformation program, supporting Taibet to achieve the Passion 2025. Um, in the future, there are plans for me to work in, in Sabeco in Vietnam, and then later on, uh, who knows where I would be taken to. So during this journey, I have been and I will be uh, working with many management colleagues from many different places. I adapted myself to many different cultures and uh, countries and learned about different markets. In, uh, in return, I offer my understanding about Vietnam and the Vietnamese way of work to my international colleagues. And um, with uh, transformation, I was also chosen to be the ambassador of the letter N, the network attributes. Uh, so I would support the group to communicate about the values of partnership and relationship within and beyond the group as well. So for you and uh, for me uh, as a young generation, it is very valuable for us to expose ourselves beyond the country's borders to answer the question, how do they do it and introduce to everyone, how do we do it? In order to do this, we cannot just you know, deal with the things that we're familiar with. For, for me, Taibet, what it has done for me is that it expand my comfort zone instead of forcing me to get out of my comfort zone so that wherever I go and whoever I'm interacting with, it is very comfortable. And um, Taibet has done a great job for me, expanding my comfort zone all across ASEAN and in the future, even beyond that. And um, I encourage you to give it a try yourself. Uh, thank you again for joining and, and be safe and good luck to you all. Okay, thank you, Max. Thank you, Max. Okay, let's hear the next person, Hakun Andrea. Hello, everyone. Swadika. I'm Andrea. I'm half Thai Italian and I've uh, worked for Thai Bev for almost nine years. And with being here for a pretty long time, I hope that I can provide some insights as you all are starting to plan your career journey. Currently, my role within TaiBev is within the beer business group, and I'm doing brand marketing, but it's split into two arenas. So the first arena that I work on is the export markets. So here, I work under the global marketing team working with my boss and colleague who's based in Singapore, and also working in leading or guiding markets in over a dozen export markets around the world. In the global marketing team, we act as the brand guardians for Chang Beer, among other beer brands that we do export. And I take lead in the brand design, brand communication, whether it's digital and social media, primarily that it's focused on now, and um, also developing assets or toolkits, guidelines that help local markets uh, be able to use and apply and, and build the brand there as well. And the requirements and needs are always changing from market to market in what support we require to, to provide to them. And also from time to time, year to year, things change as well. So there's always freshness in, in how we developed tools or assets or train markets uh, to, to build the brands overseas. Now, the other arena that I spoke about is now is the Thailand market. So my role in Thailand market is um, primarily around innovation. So new product and brand developments for beer within the specialty beer segment. So that's from building product concepts, commercializing the brands into the modern trade as well. Now the tips or advice that I would like to uh, provide you guys in terms of how to succeed um, in a career in ASEAN or anywhere for that matter is um, really like four key things, like to be a strong contributor yourself, ensure you're adding value, take pride in your work and um, your work will speak for itself and build a reputation for yourself. Speak up, voice your ideas as well. And also uh, this was mentioned earlier before too, is to be a good, um, uh, listener to also ask learning questions. That's how you will gain more insights, more understanding about situations or projects that you have to handle. But the, the biggest advice that I would like to give re really is more about setting, start to set a clear career goal for yourself, because I think it's important you have it clear in your head where you want to be headed, 
what role, what kind of work do you love doing? And it's fine if these things change over the years as you evolve. Um, but apart from that, you also have to communicate this to your superiors because you should be the one who gets to steer your career journey. And that if the, your bosses or your employer know where you want to be headed, they will be um, more equipped to serve you, to also provide you the opportunities that will help you grow to where you want to be. Um, so that's all I'd like to leave you guys with. And I wish you very uh, every success in whatever you choose to do. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much Andrea. <laughs> okay. So let's hear from our last speaker, Naha Kun Keng. Okay. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Man and you can call me Keng. And I graduated from Ho Chi Minh City University of Technology. And my major was uh, environmental technology and management. Uh, currently, I work as a process improvement specialist for Taipei Recycle for a year. My role is to go around the factory uh, to detect the problems or something hasn't lean yet. Then I try to improve it by using the technology. Uh, this is uh, my very first job and it's also the first time uh, that I work for the inter international company in a very different country. And so it's very difficult for me at the beginning. Uh, but luckily, I have a very great support from my boss and the co-workers. My boss, Dr. Watich, uh, he has taught me a lot of things. He always creates opportunities for me to learn and he always listens to my ideas, encourage me to think out of the box and to bring the very unique values for the company. I think that Taibab is like a family. People uh, support each other to grow and they very respect each other. Besides the working time in CBR, there's a lot of events to connect each other, such as like happy hours, year end party, and, mm, and a lot of things more. Um, in those events, people play, eat, share and and talk to each other and sometimes we can have a chance to receive a very big gift from the board of management those events and the friendly workers here uh, co-worker here uh, make me feel uh, adapt to the new culture faster and i feel very happy during this time i work here especially for the covid time and finally, I will be in Thailand for two or three years. And after that, I'm going to go back to Vietnam to expand Thai Beth business in Vietnam. Uh, and during the last one year, I feel very happy to be here. And I hope that one day I can work with you in this amazing company. Thank you so much. Kun Geng, thank Best you so much. Best of luck on your journey. Yes. Geng, everyone, thank you. <laughs> so thank you, Kun Tutama, Kun Pet, Kun Max, Kun Andrea, and Kun Geng. Now is our Q&A session. Let me read the first question for you. Okay, so the first question is for Kun Tutama. What are the top three skills for young generation to be outstanding in such big company? Taipei is a big company. Yes. Yeah. Okay, for the top three skills, I, I would say it's like, like I agree with Dr. Ega which is communication skills, like language proficiency is very important, presentation skills as well. And second, analytical skills, such as logical reasoning, critical thinking, and data analysis. If you have numbers, charts, graphs to back up your point, what you say will be more convincing. So go practice using Excel, Power BI, and some programming skills to boost up your analytical thinking. And third, a growth mindset. I agree with Peace Sandy. Or Peace Sandy. Uh -huh. Eager to learn new things. In big company, you will meet different types of people from different culture. So be open-minded, be adaptable, be proactive, and be polite. Respect others, just like... And that's all for my suggestions for the juniors. 
Thank you. Thank you so much. Kun Chu Thomas certainly is has has as a young person has worked her way in many opportunities, and we all sort of see and admire her so much. Yes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Naha. And the next question is actually two questions, but I will read it in a row. How do you adapt to working in different cultures? Um, this question is for Max, and this question is also asking. What would you be your advice? What would be your advice for ASEAN students to cope with such um, different and diversities as um, the Joint Thai Bef? So please answer two questions like how do you adapt to work in different cultures and what is your advice for ASEAN students to cope with the differences? Okay, uh, thank you for the question. I think it's a very good question, especially for those who are interested in working overseas. Uh, I th okay, the first thing, maybe off topic a little bit, but I want to share is that in my experience, the for, for my process of adaptation to the new working culture in Thailand, uh, Thai Bev, with the nature of a large international corporation, it has helped me a lot in, 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 in this process because with the working culture of Thai Bev, it is uh, always being very supportive and uh, open to the international employees. As for me, my advice would be, first thing would be observation. Uh, I, I believe that uh, the, the adaptation, it is about understanding the differences between your culture and their culture, and then figuring out the ways to close the gap. And what, the, what your boss or your colleagues teach you, it, it would only be from one side. Uh, only introducing about their culture, but in order to understand the differences, you have to observe and you have to actively observe, not just count on what you are told. So that's first. And then secondly is ask questions. I think um, this is not only about adaptation, but also very important to the development of any young employees. Uh, by asking the, the, the question, you, you can definitely understand how to close the gap and to you know, just, just good for your development. So if you have a reasonable and logical curiosity, uh, don't be afraid to ask. Yeah. Um, the second question, cope with the diversity for ASEAN as students, right? Yes. yes. And why? Yeah. So I think, I think, I think it's, it's uh, probably in line with uh, what I said in the, in the first, uh, in the first, in the first answer, you know, you have to, Obviously, you have to be eager to learn, uh, but you, you also have to observe and you have to be active in asking questions. Don't be afraid. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you so much, Max. That's very clear. Huh? Okay. So the next question is for uh, Andrea. Huh? How is your team working style? What was the most valuable memories in Thai Bev during nine years? And what was the most challenges in here and how did you solve it? So it's three questions three here. Questions. <laughs> so how's your team working style? The second is um, most the most memorable. Yeah, and the and third is the challenges and how to solve. Okay. The first one, uh, working style or the team style. Uh, personally, I value communication, collaboration and improvement or develop development. So that is that is in every day how I live my life, how I work as a team player, as a team member, as well as how I manage my team. So I believe in putting out superior work. I believe in sharing ideas and working to get together to create something great. And though I tend to take lead roles in projects, I do remind myself to provide like a safe space for others to share their ideas and solutions too, as they can contribute to make, make us do something better. And I feel that this is something that's proven to serve me well and serve the business well as well throughout this nine year here. The second question about the most memorable. This is a hard one to single <laughs> out because I have been here for so long. Um, but I, I think I will put uh, the most recent thing that I have achieved um, as part of the, the MDP program, the management development program. Um, it was a pro we were tasked, our team was tasked with a very difficult uh, thing to, to, to crack um, about providing a, a sustainable multi-pack for modern trade. And it was, we had two rounds. The first round, we totally 
did really bad. There were so many criticisms from all the judges who were senior management, you know, like apart from the oh, owner man. sitting there. Yeah. So everyone expected us to be the, the worst team, basically. And like the, we worked really hard to try and find a solution that worked in, in, in all the ways and all the criteria. And in the last round, when we did present, um, we ended up winning. We, we became the winning team. So it was almost like the most improved as well. And, but I believe that it was all of us working together, pulling in all of our specialties to create a solution that balanced everything out and being able to communicate that. So that was something that is one of the most memorable in this past year, because this was pretty recent. Now, the last question about the challenge, I think one of the biggest challenge for me is um, the working a lot virtually. So I'm used to this new normal because that's how I've worked for the past um, almost a decade because I work with colleagues or boss who's in Singapore or I'm always you know, having calls with UK, with, with uh, Australia. So that was, some, that was my natural working environment for a lot of my time, but it poses its challenges because you don't have that uh, you know, face-to-face -face, uh, reaction. So sometimes there could be a hard, a hard times to get, gain understanding from people who, are you, who you're speaking to, your teams, your counterparts overseas, as well as for them to gain understanding of you. And while you're trying to solve an issue, it does pose a challenge because we have to com communicate remotely. But to overcome that, um, I would generally go straight to let's have a call. You know, in the past, maybe not a video call as much as now with, with all the tools, but let's have a con call, you know, where we have all the teams there. Let's speak through it so that everyone is understanding the situation the same way. And then we tackle it together. So, yeah, that's I think I've answered all the three questions, right? <laughs> So, so through technology is possible, like like us here today. Yes, <laughs> yes. I, I was one of the judges in, in Andrea's presentation. Oh, it's you. Uh, but but the, the winning team was really impressive. I think okay. it underscored the theme that uh, in Type F, you know, if you just accept comments and worked on it, and as Andrea said, putting the very aspect together, try to answer the multiple angles, you actually come out very excellently. So congratulations to Andrea. <laughs> Thank you. Again. I okay. remember that well. <laughs> okay. Okay. So next question. What do you like the most working for Thai Bev? This one for Kun Pet. What do you like the most working for Thai Bev? Uh, I think working here is really fun and challenging for me. I have been working with um, this company for six years already and I can still find some news in what I do every day because I think is uh, Taibev is really big company and there are many projects that uh, you can do. What I like the most is that you feel like you are the startup working on your own company but already have investment and, and, and mentor which is your boss to advise so you have a chance to make a difference and maximize your potential. I think it's like uh, you are in the big, big tree, but you are also allowed to grow the small and beautiful tree inside. Okay. Thank you very much, Kap. Thank Coming you. Coming from the FNN side to join Type F, I'm very glad to hear you are sharing, Kap Kun Pet. Okay, do you have anything to share to us? What do you like the most working for Thai Bev? Because you are Vietnamese working for Thai Bev in Thailand. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you for your question. Um, the firstly that uh, I want to tell you that I'm very lucky to have a chance to work uh, in a lot of innovation projects. Uh, currently, I'm work with uh, Carnegie Mellon University in Thailand to develop the AI sorting system that detect the glass bottles and automatically reject it from the line. So if this project success, um, it will save a huge amount of working time for the workers and increase the accuracy level and a lot more. And But for me, I have learned a lot during this project, such as how to become a good project manager, 
how to manage cross-function tasks between many uh, Thai bed sectors. And most importantly, I understand how uh, the AI work in the real world. <laughs> uh, that is a very great experience for me. And I believe that Thai bed is just um, one of a few companies that, cre yeah, that creates the shut uh, value opportunities for employees. And I'm happy to be a part of Thai bed. That's it. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you, Ha. Thank you, Kap. <laughs> Learning you. growth um, is, I, I'm really glad that the young people get the opportunity to learn yeah. early in their career. Yeah, like, yes, okay, ha. okay ha. Next question ha, is for Kun Juthaman. Since you are from business uh, administration, what makes you interested to work in system analysis associate? Okay, ha. Um, working in business field, that is the same with what I study from my university will, of course, be in my comfort zone. However, adding skills with the experience in technology field will add value to myself and the company. For example, programmers will know what software to develop to create business value. And company can run much faster with automation and artificial intelligence. However, stepping out from my comfort zone comes with a cost. Like, I have to do self-study. I um, have to study on my own with like such as Python, learning database, and so on. It is difficult, but I believe successful people all start with zero at birth. And they are successful because they work hard, and I work hard as well. And my decisions open doors for me, like open doors, opportunities of doors for me. And, and I, I, I really, I really like, like doing what I do, <laughs> which is both technology and business. And I hope you all can do it too, if you're interested. And thank you. Thank you, Ha Kunjutamat. And this is the last question, because we are run out of time already. So the last question is um, for Kun Ekapon, Dr. Ekapon here. What skills are you looking for in a fresh graduate? Fresh graduate, what are skills? I like to share the three things that I really believe are important and I'll add the extra one at, at the end. Um, I'll repeat again, collaboration. collaboration. Uh, that comes with communication together. Very, very important, will take you very far. Uh, the second word which I have not mentioned already is the second C which stands for creating values. So it means that um, you, you, you strive to make of value to the work. So create something that otherwise would not happen. And this will be similar to the word which I've heard from the speaker today, your work will speak for itself. So therefore, if you strive for that, um, you can solve problem, you can create values, and that's very good. And third thing, I will repeat again, the word about caring for stakeholders. I think it's quite important to, uh, to know that you, you work together with other people. So therefore, be respectful, mindful, and try to think in in things that um, um, is, is important to others, uh, help round it up your work very well. Yep. So I will add the extra one. Yes. This is about strategizing. Young people have a lot of energy. Young people is very um, easily adaptable to technology. Huh. Use that very well. Um, um, use your energy well and making sure that you are the fastest moving person in the room in terms of adopting new ways of technology is because we really appreciate each of the youngsters who come to help us progress well. Uh, when you're with us, our average age drop. <laughs> we also hope that when you're us, our speed uh, improve because now you're the person who can adapt the many things that is, uh, is, is around out there to make the, the, the work progress. So I think in short, uh, we really believe in the uh, potentials of the young generation and the young people. And by using your strength, your energy and advantage, any and all of the youngster can make quick impact and make the difference to the team and uh, will create great start to your career cup. Okay, ha. thank you so much, na ha, Dr. Hikapon, and thank, you, thank you all of our speakers. Na ha, kun Chuthamat, kun Pet, kun Max, kun Andre, and kun Geng. Na ha. As today we had uh, have quite limited time. If you have further questions, you can ask us at our official line at Thai Bev Career ASEAN. If any of you interest about Thai Bev ASEAN internship program, 
you can apply by scanning this QR code until the end of February. The program will be conducted during June to July this year. Or if you would like to discover about our career opportunities, please visit us at careers.taibevgroup.com. And don't forget about our lucky draw prizes today. Yep. You all here can win our lucky draw prizes by first capturing the Zoom screen or YouTube screen and type your full name. If you already done that, please send both to the chat by January 19th. The announcement will be on January 19th online official. If you're the lucky one, we'll send the prize to your doorstep. And that's all of our event for today. We will post a record of this event as at Facebook page ThaiBev People and Career by January. See you all again next year. สวัสดีค่ะ Good luck everyone. Good luck everyone.